hey guys, this is your chords tutorial. Um, so as always, we're starting in Tone Gym. Um, you don't have to click any extra buttons besides these. And remember, you want to start and end on a one and have eight chords. And each of these, remember, is a number. So I'm going to do, let's say, one, five, six, four, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Um, I'm going to hit play, see if I like it. Now this is the point where you would highlight this, copy it, and save it. You could save it in a private comment in your Google Classroom. That's a great way to save it. Or you could take a picture of it with your phone. I'm just going to leave this open for the video, but I'm going to go into the studio, set my tempo, let's do 80 for right now actually, and then add a new track, piano and keyboards, and I'm going to keep it as grand piano, but you could change it if you want, and this would be a great time to save. Okay, now, my first chord was a 1, and we're starting on C. So I find my C, and then I'm going to do every other note going this way from that C. And remember, the, note, the letter right here is not the name of the note. So what you press may not be the note name. The note name does pop up right here. So you can see this is an E and this is a G. And I'm playing all of these with my hand on the computer keyboard, not with the mouse. Okay, so I'm going to hit record. I'm going to record that for four clicks, and then to stop it, I'm going to press the space bar on my computer. And two, three, four, space bar. So that stopped it immediately. I'm not going to move my playhead at all. This becomes important because we want to make it all sound like it's one long chord progression. So what's my next one? My next one's five. Five starts on a G. Figure that out by, this is one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to do that same pattern every other note going up from the G. Hit record. Bar. And I'm going to record this whole thing. I'm not going to talk that much until I finish it. Six. So that's five. So this is six. Same pattern. I'm hitting the space bar every time to stop. Next was a four, which is down here. Two, four, five, one. So my two. I use two hands for that. Three, four, stop. Remember, you'll notice every time I'm not moving this because I want to start my next chord right where the previous one left off. And then four, five, one. So here. Space bar. My next one was five. Two, three, four, stop. And then I go back to one at the end, which is my C. So if you were doing the triad chord progression assignment, the first one we did, this is all you would need to do. If this, if you're working on the final project, which some of you already started, some of you didn't, I'm going to 
I need it to be 24 bars. I have eight. Eight times three is 24. I'm just going to copy and paste it. So copy, paste, copy, move my playhead over, paste. Zoom out. See, I now have 24 bars of the same chord progression. And I'm going to hit my save button. So if you need to make up your chord progression assignment or you're confused still about how to start your final project for the semester, well, not final project, but final project for the unit, um, this is hopefully going to help you.